Hello, sweet souls. It is Sunday, March 26th, and I wanted to come on and do another reading. Um, I did get a download today uh, while I was in the shower. Um, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So what I was getting in the shower was there are going to be so many divine unions coming in and it's going to be a very spiritual connection and it's one that you've never had before and um, it's just like magical i mean i just kept feeling it's like magical a magical connection so let's see what they want to say about this magical connection that's coming in so right now you might feel like you are stuck in the middle um, stuck and sa stagnant things aren't changing your love life isn't improving um, and it's because you are in the energy of releasing the past and stepping into a higher vibration which is light darkness to light okay so this is necessary this love that's coming in is fated to happen it's destined to happen um, you went through all of the experiences in the past and closed out cycles for this exact moment is what I'm hearing so they said just relax have a positive mindset when it comes to your love life stop saying it's never gonna come or I've been waiting years and I don't see anything write down what it is the characteristics of your divine partner what do you want this person to be like what are their positive attributes? What is your relationship going to be together? Write it all down, imagine it, envision it, and believe it's already coming to you. That belongs to you, that is your connection. And then let it go. Don't sit and worry and wonder every single day. You, you delay it when you do that, okay? What is this? Divine love, poised. Ugh. You're in a beautiful, receptive energy right now. You are. You are in a high vibration and you are in the vibration to receive this divine love. Yeah, time to go. You are moving on in life. You are releasing and you are moving forward. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do to call in a divine counterpart. You will co-create with this person. You have a destiny to fulfill with this person. Part of your destiny is to help others. To be their true authentic self, to heal from abandonment and rejection. Together, whether it's taking an active role and speaking about abandonment and rejection, codependency, um, or this is on an energetic level, together you will co-create and help others. Yeah. You'll become more flexible. You'll, you'll become more flexible with the universe and how you receive blessings. Okay? So let's see what else. What about this? You know what? I want to use a different deck, guys. What about this divine connection? Zeus has got his head on my lap and he is whining. You are the high priestess. You can feel that there's a shift happening in your love life. You can feel it. You know it. The Ten of Cups is headed your way. You know a divine union is coming. You can feel it. It's gonna be all that you wished, prayed, and dreamed for. It really is. Yeah, it's gonna spark a new passion in you. There's a lot of passion here. It leads to generational wealth. This, these cards keep coming out. Ten of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. This is a mind-blowing union. Mind-blowing, yes, union. Look at that, twin flame soulmate. This is a destined partner. And I don't care if you've been waiting for years. You know, everyone has their own karmic uh, lessons they have to learn on both ends of the spectrum. You learned yours and your divine partner has to learn theirs. Then when you both learn the lesson, you come into union, okay? This is beautiful and this is what I felt today when I was taking a shower, this loving energy. Yeah, this person is going to be loyal and honest and kind. And they're, they're going to renew your faith and love again. After all of the heartbreak you've experienced, they're going to renew your faith and love. They're going to encourage you. 
give you strength, empowerment. This is someone that's gonna build you up. Build your confidence up. Yeah. Help you to drop those burdens and to believe and love again. Yeah. You know, when this passionate offer comes in, you will make a decision. And it's gonna bring in so much peace into your life. For many of you, you will travel with your divine partner. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful connection. And you know, you're gonna look back at the past that you walked away from, and you're gonna, you're gonna question, like, how did I accept so little? How did I put up with so much? I mean, you're gonna have, there's clarity in this. There is truth in this. And when this union comes in, which looks completely different than the past, you're gonna have these realizations and you're gonna have a comparison for, for a good, healthy spiritual connection versus one that is karmic and toxic in nature. It's just really gonna open your eyes to what real love is, this soul connection. It's gonna really open your eyes. You have this financial blessing coming as well. Um, this is a stable offer coming from this soulmate, but I also see a financial blessing. It's almost like a wedding gift from God. That's what I just started. It's a wedding gift from God. Thank you. That's <laughs> sweet. That is so sweet. You know, not only will not only will you have this loving spiritual connection, uh, but this person will be a friend to you. You will be best friends. Best friends. Yeah. You know, the past energy, which could have had fire placements, they are trapped now. They feel like they're imprisoned due to their own deception while the wheel is turning in your favor. Um, faded uh, events in your life, things that are aligning in love and partnerships, friendships, you know, career even. You are receiving blessings from God. Yeah, financial security and stability. You are receiving blessings from God because you have made the right choices and you healed. Yeah, I see past life soul connections watching you, but these are people that you have released. Um, they do watch you. They watch you and they can see that you're happy. They can see that you're successful. Yeah, they're conflicted. They're upset by it. You're learning new things. You're opening new doors. Um, like I said, you, this is a period of enlightenment and love, victory. You being recognized for who you are. This is a stable offer that's coming in. Yeah. Oh. You know, people that try to come in, they try to rush in, they try to use manipulation to get you confused or to create illusion, that's not gonna work because you've closed out the cycle of pain. You're not going to be tempted to repeat a cycle that was so devastating to you, earth shattering. You would never go back when what you have moving forward is so amazing. Yeah. You're finally, you know, releasing it. You're letting the chips fall where they're gonna fall. And you're you're really focused on what it is that makes you happy. I see you being recognized for who you are, how you help other people in your community. You are the Empress, divine feminine or masculine, but you are at your highest vibration. Yeah, and because of that, you are being divinely protected and guided toward victory. You have this love of self and your divine partner is coming. They are coming. I feel it and I know many of you feel it. Making plans for the future, traveling, having your best life, new adventures, you know? Uh, finding your passion once again. Okay, guys, this is the reading that I have for you. I love you. Um, you know what? Let me, before I end, I want to do the romance oracle and see what... The advice is romance 
for the collective. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances uh, you currently find yourself in. Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are the qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. This is why for many of you, you have not had a divine union come in yet. There were still aspects that you needed to heal so that you could be in a high vibration. Otherwise, you would call in a partner that would magnify those issues that needed to be healed, if that makes sense. The bottom of the deck says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to, to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yeah, the soulmate's coming in. I can't make it up. The soulmate is coming in. What just fell? Sexual union. This says, honor the place of one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. All right, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you, and I hope you have a happy Sunday. Bye-bye.